Obstacle rules. Obstacles are one of the most important things to the National Ninja League, but not all obstacles are created equal. Some are really easy, and some are really hard. Some are good, and some are just outright bad. Good, bad, or neutral, this next rule was created to make sure that clearing an obstacle was an objective process, rather than a subjective process relying on judges to make a judgment call on whether an athlete had control or not. We also wanted to make sure that athletes weren't getting DQ'd for finding creative ways to clear the obstacle. Here is the rule. Obstacles may not have additional rules determining how the obstacle is completed outside of designating the following. The facility may designate hands only, feet only, or the use of both on each obstacle. The facility may designate the use of hands on one part of the obstacle and the use of feet on another part. The facility may not force an athlete to use only one specific limb during an obstacle. So what does any of that mean? Well, it means three things for the athlete. First, referees cannot DQ you for skipping part of an obstacle and going straight to the landing platform. Well, unless there's other obstacle chains like link touch platforms. I'm going to leave a link for the link touch platforms in the description below. Second. Refs cannot make you do an obstacle a certain way or a certain number of spins. You just need to look for the platform and go when you're ready. Finally, refs will tell you what part of the obstacle is in play and what part of your body you can touch the obstacle with. After that, everything is up to the athlete. We hope that you found this tutorial helpful. For more tutorials, like, comment, and subscribe. Or head over to nationalninja.com to find a competition near you.